going to have a look at the rear view of the Fleck 5600 SXT control valve. Just to give you a couple landmarks here uh, so you know what we're looking at. This is the brine line adapter. This is the drain line barb. A um, few different things we're going to talk about and I'm going to show you how to pull apart the, uh, the bypass assembly which uh, is something you may or may not uh, want to do in the future. Uh, first of all, this is the turbine cable. Um, this cable slides out of a hole in the back out of the turbine assembly. Uh, slides back into that hole and that communicates between the turbine and the valve to measure water flow. Uh, and then in terms of pulling this thing apart, uh, there's a screw that goes here and a screw that goes here that holds these metal clips in place. These metal clips are designed to just hold this assembly together. Um, it's o-ring sealed so you don't need to over tighten these screws when you put it back together. In fact over tightening the screws uh, can cause damage to either the turbine assembly or the bypass. So just snug them up just to hold that whole thing together. So we'll pull off these metal clips. And now I can show you the various different components. First of all is the plumbing adapter. This is a Noril uh, 3 quarter inch male thread. Uh, very, very common plumbing adapter. That just slides off. And you can see the O-rings here that seal against that plumbing adapter. The next piece to come off is the bypass itself. And this will often come off with the turbine assembly. Uh, now these are two separate parts, so I'm going to going to carefully wiggle those apart. So there's your turbine assembly and there's the bypass itself. The knobs on the bypass can be turned to either put the unit in bypass mode or in service mode. Uh, and this is the turbine. Uh, there's a small little fan that spins in here um, or propeller that spins in here when the water flows through and that measures your water flow. And again to put that back together we've got the turbine assembly first. Again o-ring sealed so it just slides in nicely. We've got the bypass and then we've got the plumbing adapter. Simply replace the metal clips here and here and the matching set on the other side and everything's put back together.